Good day, everyone. We're here at Internet of Things Philippines, and today we are going to teach you why it's important to choose the right RFID tag or label for your assets. Right, Nico? Yes, and also the limitations of RFID tags. Okay, so in our previous video, you've seen how to do RFID inventory using barcode or RFID. And there's a portion there where you've seen uh, we've shown you a box of different RFID tags and labels, right? Yes. yes. So today, we are going to explain why the need for such. And so before we proceed, um, if you have the video, just click on the link the above, above yeah. and you can view it again. Your offer. Yes. So Don, what are the RFID tags that we have here? And are you trying to educate them? Para may idea sila kay RFID tags. Actually, you're right, Nico. No? So, for the past number of years now, we've been getting a lot of inquiries from our clients. And they're assuming that they would only need one type of RFID label. And that's not the case. No? That's a big no no. Why? Because, for example, if you are going to use a non-metal RFID label on a metal asset, you cannot read this RFID label anymore. No? Okay. So either you use an RFID hard tag, which in this case, uh, this tag is normally used for metal kits, mm -hmm. uh, big metal pipes, or what have you. And we also have on metal tags. So basically, you use this for metallic assets. Okay. Just like this one. So this one is a power supply. It's made of metal. And we're going to show you and prove to you yes. that if you are going to use a non-metal RFID limit on this asset, it won't give it. Okay. If you're gonna skip out or you're gonna cheap out and purchase this kind of label, it wouldn't work. So Don, ano mo na una yun natin dito na i-read ni gamit si Hanel, si non-metal tag, ba o si all-metal tag? Okay, for this one, no, i-dayan na muna natin si non-metal label. And we're going to show you why this won't work. Okay. And guys, ito, kupon ko to. Yes. One of the limitations of RFID is liquid. Siyempre, katawan natin 70% of water mo. Of water mo. First, I'll read it again. Nababasa, right? If I put it back, hindi na siya nababasa. Okay. At to, it's being read again. If I put it back, hindi na nababasa. Okay. So now, we are going to try and use the right tag for this asset, which is the on metal label. So again, as you can see, ito na mabasa siya, right? Ipapatang mo na, mabasa pa din. Huh? Mabasa pa din. Now, if I cover this with my hand, wala na. So there you have it, guys. And we hope that you learned something today on why is it important for you to identify the right RFID label for your asset. So again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell button below. See ya!